Okay, so let's take a look at some of the new features for the uh, instruments. So if you are making a virtual instrument track, um, such in the case here, we have impact. Um, what happens with a brand new song is you get this now automatic um, bus channel that's created. It's like a, it's like a folder bus channel. Um, and uh, is basically specifically for instruments uh, such as Impact that has a multi out. So if you're using something like Contact or UJAM or something like that, then this is what will be created automatically in Studio One Pro 7 in a brand new song. Now, if you've got an existing song um, that you created in version six, let's just say, um, and you want to have this new instrument bus um, created, then you can basically right click the instrument slot here. And at the moment it says remove instrument bus because it's already been created. But if it hasn't been created, it will say here, create instrument bus. And then it will automatically do that for you. Now, if this is a behavior that you don't necessarily want because of a certain configuration that you are working in, then you can come up here to studio one and you can go to options and then you click on advanced and then you click on console and you'll see that there is this option here that says automatically create buses for multi out instruments and you can uncheck this and the original behavior from um, older versions of studio one will um, persist rather than the new multi out instrument bus channel. So if you don't want that behavior, um, because of certain songs that you are bringing over from older versions of Studio One, then you can uncheck this, hit apply, hit OK, open up the new song, and it will behave as it has always done, and you won't get this automatic um, instrument bus thing created. Staying with virtual instruments, um, I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool with Impact. And so I have Impact here. Um, but watch this, if I close the mixer and I open the note editor instead, now take a look at this. We have impact now integrated into the um, note editor and the drum editor. So if I go over to the piano roll, you'll see it's here as well. If I go back to the drum editor, you can see that it is here and it's available from this little button here that says pad controls. So I can turn this off and the integration will disappear and you'll get all of your real estate back. But let's say you want to have some control over what's going on in Impact, or you even want to um, audition um, pads or change out an instrument, but you don't want to leave the, the drum editor or the note editor, you now have that option by clicking on this guy here. I think this is a really cool little addition um, but this only actually works for impact. So it won't work for a third party uh, drum instrument like uh, Virtual Drummer or Easy Drummer or um, any of those other um, third party um, drum programs like Slate Digital and things like that. It won't work for those. It only works for impact. Um, however, I think it would be nice if it is possible to see it integrated with third party products in the future. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. But I think this is a pretty cool little addition. Um, and then you can just turn that off here if you don't want it on.